We want to go over the dog at this point and just remove some of the uh, longer hair that we left. We either missed it or, you know, left a little bit on to give the dog some coverage. We just want to take that off at this point. Next, we're going to work on the face a little bit, just evening out the things that we've already done, but just going over them, keeping depth of hair growing. We have to have different lengths of hair growing. That means we have to continuously work on these things. allows me to keep the dog steady but also when I put my hand here I put my thumb down and I roll over pulling my thumb up it tightens the skin on the other side and allows me to pull the hair easier. that the hair is growing. Don't pull against the hair. You run the risk of cutting it and it hurts the dog more. We have to pull off the next stage of our stage strip, which is down the shoulder uh, to the leg, along the edge of the neck, working along the line down the edge of the neck. The 
You want to take and hold the dog's skin so that it's taut when you're pulling hair. This makes it easier to pull the hair, it makes it less hard on the dog, and your results will be overall better. Don't dig out the hair in this little area right here. The transition of the leg and the shoulder needs that hair in there. 